In this video, we're going to look at measuring the capacitance of a capacitor with a multimeter. So, not terribly complex, but there's a few things to be aware of. First off, the multimeter has to be able to measure capacitance. And you don't want the capacitor to be part of a circuit uh, during this time. It has to be uh, discharged. We'll come to that in a little bit. But in any case, we have uh, a capacitor symbol on this multimeter. Not all multimeters uh, can measure capacitance. And then each one of them has its own range of capacitance that it can measure. So make sure you look at the uh, manual or the uh, description, product description, if you're looking to buy one. So make sure it can measure capacitance and the range you need. This particular meter, red probe and black probe, stay where they are. You may have to move one or the other uh, with a different uh, multimeter. So you'll always check with that. This one's pretty simple here. And so here we have the capacitors. First off, we need to make sure that... Uh, the capacitors are discharged before we measure them. I have two of them here because we're going to also measure the two of them in parallel. It's really easy. Uh, parallel capacitors, their capacitance simply adds up, but we will measure that as a way to approve it. So to make sure it's discharged, best option, put a resistor across it. So the value resistor will depend on the voltage it may have been charged to. I would probably use at least a 10 kilo ohm if it may have been charged to a 50 volts. Even though that's probably high for a 10 kilo ohm resistor, the voltage drops rapidly as uh, it discharges. And uh, so maybe that'll be safe. But in any case, we got a 1K there, which would work good for uh, probably 10, maybe 20 volts. And then we have uh, this one here. It's already discharged, but another way to discharge it, you could take a uh, jumper or something, connect the two pins again. That's if it's not uh, too high of a voltage. I would only do this maybe to 20 volts, but uh, just short circuit it. That's a single connection, even if the power supply is on, doesn't matter. They're, it's to the same rail, power supply is off. But in any case, that'll instantly discharge it. 10 volts, you'd probably get a spark. 20 volts, probably a big spark. And uh, higher voltage, you may even vaporize metal with uh, capacitors at uh, this value. So now it's uh, pretty simple. We just, for this meter, set it to the... Uh, capacitor setting it's auto ranging other ones you got to set a value that is higher than what uh, you expect so these are 470 microfarad I would set it to the setting higher than that if it even had one higher than that so we just go across the uh, two terminals it's polarized so we got to make sure the black probe goes to the negative side and then the red probe to the positive side so it's been varying a little bit but that may be uh, due to how I am making my connections, but but been pretty close. So it said about 490. These are 470 microfarad capacitors. Uh, they have a tolerance though that I'm guessing is probably 20% uh, higher than its rated value and maybe down to 10% lower than its rated value. I think that's common for these electrolytic capacitors. So they're not uh, precision when they give you the the uh, value on there. But they're relatively close. So if you have a uh, problem where it seems like the capacitor is slightly off, good chance that it is. And you could measure with the multimeter. So now we're going to go with it in parallel. Putting the positive of both of them together and the negative of both of them together. Right there. And so their capacitance will just simply add up. So make sure I got a connection there. And I will see that it's almost a thousand microfarad. A little less than one millifarad right there and uh, so it's close enough right now to the millifarad range uh, according to the meter that uh, it's in the millifarad range now so a little less than one so for some reason it changes a little bit each time I measure it let's see if I can get it into the micro farad range when it comes to capacitors they don't usually there you go we are in the microfarad range there so when it comes to uh, capacitors they don't usually give the values in millifarads, they usually give them in thousands of microfarads. But here you can see the multimeter doesn't go by that rule, it goes uh, to uh, millifarads when it needs to. So, in any case, that's about it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Always turn the multimeter off. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting to the screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can, that helps out the most. I have links down in the description. But just watching videos helps out a ton. Thanks for watching videos. I'll see you in the next video.